Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for your support. I still remain my humble self, Solom Stitches. I bring to you another new uh, video. So please, if you have not subscribed yet, kindly do that by hitting on that red icon to subscribe. And today I am so, so happy. You guys are really wonderful. Today we hit 10k plus uh, subscribers. So thank you so, so much. It can only be your effort. So please, if you have not joined my team, kindly hit on that red icon to subscribe. Also touch the notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Okay. So now today's class, we shall be looking at how to make a gathered long gown. All right. So here I have my four yards of those fabric. Okay, and I also have my lining. This this is a bay lining, not um, a uh, the usual lining that we know. Okay, so this is a bay lining. I normally like using this to sew my uh, English wears. Okay, so here I have cut out three yards of this for the gather. Okay, so I have my one yard here for the upper part and the sleeve. Of course, as I will still be removing something from this part okay all right so here i have my three yards so what we have what we're going to be doing first now is to um get our full length measurement which is 62 inches so i'll be taking away our half length to width okay so i'll just go ahead and fold this so that it can be easy for me to cut it out okay having folded it well what i have to do now is to take away um 16 pro uh, uh, out of the full length, which is 16 minus by uh, 62 in inches, will be giving us 46 inches. So here, I will be measuring our 46 inches, and I will take away the remaining part. Okay, here I have my 46, of course, plus 1 inch. Okay, so I have 47 inches here. So because of the, um, for the cost of this tutorial, it won't be having a pocket. So because of that, it will be having only one joining and that will be at the zipper side, which will be at the center back. Okay. So for that, I won't be dividing this. Okay. So if you are making any gather gown that you want it to have a pocket by the side. So what you have to do is to divide whatever thing that you will, that, that you need. For example, since uh, this is for the down part, what I'll have to do now is to divide this by two. Okay. It's just for me to divide this. I said I'm using three yards. So what I would do now is to divide this. That is one and a half, one and a half. Okay. So one part of the one and a half will be for the front part. Then the other one and a half, I will also divide it by two again. Okay. To get my two back side so i can be able to attach my pocket by the side but since this dress won't be having a pocket by the side i won't be dividing it okay so it will be having only one joining at the center back where the zip will pass through okay so this one set aside now so we we'll go over to cut out the upper part okay so this is the one year that we cut out for the upper part all right, so I want to make a little bit of design at this dress. So what I want to do now is to use this part. When you look at this dress, you will notice that it has a two side border, the up and the down. Okay, then the center is as if it's a plain. So I want to use the center part for the sleeve because the sleeve is a buff sleeve with band. So I'll be using this for the, for the buff sleeve. Then I will use this, okay, for the band. So because of that, I'll be cutting here for the main body. Then I'll cut the other side for the other main body. So I'll be cutting the front piece first before cutting the back piece. I'll use the front to cut out the back piece. Okay, so I'll just fold this one into two. Okay, so the first thing to do is to get our half length. And the half length you are working with is 16 inches, but I'm making use of 17 inches for the joining.
Okay, the next is to get our shoulder measurement. And the shoulder I'm working with is 16 inches into 2 to give us 8 inches. I'll be adding extra half an inch for the joining, making it 8 and a half inches. Then I'll also mark 3 inches. I mark 3 inches for our shoulder slope. Okay, coming to this 8.5, I'll also come down by 1 inch. Okay, to connect the shoulder slope. So I'll connect this shoulder slope. But before then, I'll put impute our armhole measurement. And the armhole I'm working with is 18 inches into 2 to give us 9 inches. So from this 1 inch now, I'll mark our 9 inches. So you can go ahead to remeasure your shoulder measurement, which is eight and a half. So I'll connect this now with a straight line. I don't even know the chalk to use so that this will come out well. So I'll go ahead now to connect those three inches to this one inch. Please, if you cannot see this chalk properly, just listen to what I am saying, then follow it and you will get what you want. Okay. So here, at this 9 inch, I will make a straight line to take our bust line measurement. The bust I'm working with is 42 inches into 2, 42 inches into, into 4, sorry, to give us 10.5. You divide your bust measurement by 4, your waist by 4, then your shoulder line you divide by 2. Okay, so when you divide those by 4, we have 10.5. So I'll mark the 10.5 and I'll also add my allowance. I'll be adding two inches allowance because I will be turning those with a lining. The waist I'm working with is 36 inches into four to give us nine inches. So I'll mark my nine inches and I'll add extra allowance to it for my darts and for the seam allowance. So I'll be adding three inches. One inch for our darts and two inches for seam allowance. So I'll go ahead now and connect this with a straight line. So coming to our armhole, just look for the midpoint of nine inches, which is 4.5. Then you connect to the bust line measurement. So you can use your French curve to do this. The neckline I'm working with is uh, three and a half inches. Then the neck depth of I'll be using five and a half. I'll be using 5 inches, sorry, 5 inches for the neck depth. So I'll connect those 3 and a half to those 5 inches. But I won't be cutting out this neckline first. Then coming out to this, our armhole, for the front, I will come out at this uh, 4.5, I will come out by half an inch. Then I'll connect it again. I will connect it straight here. Then I'll connect it again. 
at the bust line. Please pardon me, I don't know the exact chalk to use to bring this out. Blue is not coming out at all and the white that I'm making use of still yet I think is not that much clear, okay? But let's, let me just go down to it so that you can follow me up properly. Get your half length, add extra inch for the joining. Get impute to your shoulder measurement, shoulder divide by two, or everything you have for your shoulder, divide it by two. Then mark your three inches for the shoulder slope. At what you have for your shoulder measurement, come down by one inch, then connect it to the three inches. Then you impute to your shoulder line, uh, your armhole measurement. Okay, then make a straight line at that your armhole and impute your bust measurement. Okay, then add extra inches for your seam allowance. All right. Then at the armhole measurement, get the half of it, the midpoint, then connect to your bust line measurement. That at that half of your armhole, like for example, as this one is nine inches, the, the midpoint will be 4.5. At that midpoint, that is 4.5, come out by half an inch, then connect back to your bust line measurement. That is only for the front piece okay for the front part is when you'll be cutting out the half that you came out with okay then impute your waistline measurement plus your dad plus your sewing and for your plus your seam allowance then you connect the both lines okay then mark your neck line okay any leg line that you want you impute it okay so i'll just go ahead now to cut this out Like I said, we'll be cutting out the normal armhole first because we are using this to cut out the back piece. So after cutting out the back piece, we can go ahead to trim it out. So I just mark it for it to guide us after cutting out the back piece. Also the neckline, I won't be cutting it out yet till I cut out my back piece. Okay, so this is what we have. So I'll go ahead to fold down again to cut out the back piece. Okay, I folded the second piece and I placed the front that I cut to it to cut out the back piece. Okay, so what I would do now, okay, I left one and a half inches here for a zip allowance. So for the neckline of the back, I'm still going to be using the neckline of the um, neck width of three and a half then for the neck depth I'll be using two inches So I'll go ahead to open up this. I'll remove the back piece, then cut out the the front. Now I can remove my neckline. And I'll also dip my 
ห้ามโหโอเค so now I'll proceed to cut out the the linings then before that I'll cut out I'll be cutting out the the sleeve okay I I don't have that much of fabric to use of that being having like 15 inches after folding it but because we are um, trying to make a pattern okay um, I have shortage of fabric I have like 10 inches here so because of that I made my length to be that a uh, long so that when I drag it with up for the band it will um, form some uh, some a uh, balloon okay so that it will also give me what I want so here I have 22 for the length okay so that by the time we push it up it will give us what we want okay all right so if you don't know how to cut a sleeve don't worry i'll be putting out a link at the description part you can just click there and watch how to cut your basic sleeve okay then you know this is a buff sleeve okay all right so the only difference there now is that as you can see i did not say let me measure uh the round uh, sleeve to impute that okay i just made this from the armhole straight okay so had it been we have more than that we would have used everything we have used like 15 inches instead of using 10 inches when folded okay all right but it will still give us uh, something that is nice all right okay coming to the lining i have my two yards of lining here i'm i don't intend for the down parts to be equal with the lining okay sorry you know we use 46 for the for the down part so for the lining i'll be using 38 inches okay so i'll just cut out my 38 inches you can as well make yours to be the same thing with the with the dress like buying three yards okay you can as well use three yards of it but I don't want it to be that full, so that's why I reduced this one to two yards. Or you can as well use two and a half inches, but I'll be using this two inches for it. So I'll use this remaining part to cut out the upper parts of my dress. Okay, then after that, I'll go to the machine and uh, do my sewing. I'll come back and show you the outcome of the dress. Thank you so much for watching to the end. See you later in my next class. Love you all. Bye.